Okay, boys, I am Romy, the leader of the Snap and I have an actual announcement to make. Besides just this being an absolutely amazing and fun deck, which is what I'm gonna be now looking towards, it actually has a good win rate with about like 10 cubes gained in very high infinite against the top meta players. And why is that? Because it's something that nobody's really playing and I just wanted to flex my Onslaught and Mystique variants today. So, what are we doing? We're trying to just get the Wong infinite combo with either Hazmat or Gambit. One of these will just instantly win you the game, and that's why we play Ghost. So we can just reveal at the end of the game, causing the opponents to lose the game. Ghost has been an integral card here, and we do that by just getting Sarah, Onslaught, and then Mystique, Wong, and then add anything you want. Hazmat, Abzman, Odin. Add whatever you really want. It's that simple. You just kill your opponent. The only way you actually lose is getting clogged or milled out, but sadly those are the meta decks. So if you really like want to climb with this, I really wouldn't suggest it unless you're like in your elo, you're not seeing a lot of those decks. But if you are, then I apologize. This won't do you a lot of good. But now let's go to deck edit. We play Hazmat and Gambit as our win conditions in this deck. Now we have Mystique to copy Wong, Onslaught or Sarah, Magic to extend the game by one turn, Luke Cage so we prevent Hazmat from destroying us instead, Ghost to reveal at the end of the game, so that means we either destroy all of the opponent's cards or we destroy all of the opponent's cards in a different way with Hazmat. Hazmat to copy and if the honor reveals like Odin, Hazmat and or Gambit, Sarah and also to reduce the cost and Apocalypse is being played because that allows your Gambit to actually discard cards. It's way better than just swarming it out. If you get a lot of swarms in hand it can get kind of hectic with all the stuff you need to just play and then just you end up breaking a lot of the swarms if you do it so I would just recommend playing Apoc. But boys if you enjoyed the video make sure you give it a quick like comment, and subscribe make sure to follow my Twitch channel below because we're going to be streaming tomorrow and from now on we're going to be playing a lot more for fun decks so until then boys let's get snapping yeah boys if you didn't see the video intro today is a new day for romic and i don't care anymore about chasing the meta being a top dog and all that shit it's over from today it ended because i just realized one thing this game in my opinion is uncompetitive i don't care i'd rather eat rocks than play Marvel Snap competitively. Like, this game is dog. It's bad. Like, if you want to play this as a competitive sport, by all means. But know that I will be as far away from you as possible. Like, we will not be in the same room playing that shit. Like, get that thing away from me. But, on the other hand, we have something. Uh, the opponent has placed down a magic. We are a very different kind of deck. As you guys can see, with that being said, like me throwing my resignation is one thing, but that means we're gonna play from now on fun decks. Like, yeah, we're gonna be more like Regis instead of Try Hard McGee. Now, it's like we only have one problem here, though. We need a way to win. It'll be... difficult. But, I think I can handle it. I think I can handle the weight. Uh, if my opponent got hit with the peak and it hit their Doc Ock, we're pretty much good to go. Just don't be Doc Ock right now. Baron Zemo, just don't mill the Wong. It'll actually mill the Wong every time. Uh, so now my Onslaught is useless. I have nothing to do. My mill deck opponent has milled all of my win conditions. Which sucks. We really cannot play if we, you know, lose everything. Like, that that sucks. That that sucks major dong. I just don't know. Does Absman mimic Odin? I have no clue. I know I'll just do this. I mean, that's Onslaught there. We have to play Luke Cage. Nah, well, we should initiate with Hazmat Odin. And then Odin replaying Odin. I mean, it should cause an infinite loop. If things work as they should. And we lost Luke Cage. Twice. It's so bad we lost the man twice. He died twice. Well, the more cards he plays, the more he'll hurt himself, so... Welcome to the game, as they will, boys. This is our first foray. If he runs the card Cosmo, we're pretty much screwed. 
But let's see. Maximus, Gladiator, Onslaught, Hazmat, Odin, the replay is the Hazmat, causing our opponent to lose the game no matter what. Now Abzman copies Odin, I'm interested just to see what will happen. Okay. Should do it again. Uh, we won that game against Mill spectacularly, winning us two cubes. There we go, a more fun deck is gonna make an entrance like no other. And look at this Onslaught, guys. Well, you can't say he's not the best Onslaught you've ever seen in your life. It's like the best God Split I've ever gotten, getting us two cubes in the Marvel Snap game. Now, not to say I'm not gonna talk about the meta and all that, but I'm just like, I'm done. I'm done thinking about climbing and all that. I'm gonna be like for fun because it just, it's not fun. If I don't consider a game competitive and I don't like the main mechanics of like just having ultimate RNG overlord all over the game and just like 50 50s, coin tosses, random chance, sometimes draw, just like bricking constantly, like. And, and even when you're playing consistent decks, like drawing your fucking high cost and then to low cost, it's... And you can subsidy, like you can just make those things not matter uh, in a bunch of games. But in most of the games, you're like, what the fuck am I doing? Ah, oh, of course. The one turn I needed prior, uh, I'm gonna lose like Wong. I just can't wait to see it. Uh, I don't know what this guy is running. Blay... Ah, oh, he's running Hella. Oh, he's running this card, actually. A deck we can reliably be- And we just lost Onslaught! Good to know we lost the best card. Great. Oh, we lost Apocalypse too. Yeah, because we lost 150-50, now we just lose. And this is what I'm talking about. Like, people will tell you, No, Romic, it's not like that. Snap is a good boy. I'm glad you enjoy it. I do not. I, I consider the game uncompetitive to a scary degree. It's becoming way more RNG bullshit turbo. It's just, it's not fun for me. If I don't have fun with it, then what's the point? Like, I'm the main guy of the channel. If the main guy doesn't have fun with it, what's the real pro? Well, like, what's the point? He's playing the swarms. He's playing the core of his glaives. Discarding the APOC. And then what? Hella carrier. Ah, more R more randomness. I love how we actually just machine gun murder his entire board most of the time. Can we get Wong? We can. We play Hazmat and then Odin and just kill him. I don't know if we'll be enough to beat Dracula though. Yeah, we'll see. Should we snap? Let's go. He needs to get a location swapper here to win. Otherwise, we cook him alive. Ghost. Surfer. Well, we lose stats as well. But I think he lo He actually got the best card here. Like, he got the best possible card. That being another copy of Ghost. Which means now Pryo is mine. Which sucks. Actually, it's not. Holy shit. Sometimes you're just too good, boys. What can I say? Uh, L Mr. Cage Luke. Hit him with the power of Zeus. Actually, no. Hit him with a like. Hit him with a bonk. Just kill him. But like the fact that this was, you know what? He might still have gotten Cosmo out of the Helicarry. I have no idea. But the fact he got Ghost of all things meant that we almost like by one point we got Pryo. Like <laughs> that is scary. That's not good. And we win again. Somehow this deck is actually performing quite well against even the best meta decks. It's 
crumbling them under their, like, the, their decks are crumbling to their own things. Oh my god, this onslaught is so good. But like, yeah, I'll try to go back to my roots. We're gonna start playing the fun decks to climb, but not so much the meta decks. I mean, calling something the best deck is still something I will do, because it's the best deck, because I made it. And guys, look forward to emotes coming tomorrow in case you want to subscribe on my Twitch channel, link in the description below. I think all of you will enjoy what we have in store, at least for the... I don't know, I just got like... I saw Alex's stream, and then I saw other people's streams, and everyone is like tryharding while Alex is having fun. Like, it was kind of profound. I was just like, the guy is like having a blast playing a game he likes playing. Wow, I missed that. I was just like looking like, wow. That's something I miss. I miss it a lot. And to see it just happen, it's it was so nice. I don't know, I, I guess it's kind of cringy what I'm saying, but like, man. It felt nice. It's it's something I needed for a while. To see something someone having fun playing Marvel Snap. To finally realize that I hate this game competitively, but I love it as a game. Maybe that's how I would put it. I hate this game as a competitive sport. Like, this game fucking sucks as a sport. And I am still playing that, technically. But if he's... Like, this is a matchup where it's just like... So, if the guy against us is running the card known as... Uh, what's it called? M Mobius and Mobius, I am pretty dead. Cable draws a card from my deck that can be Luke, can or cannot be Luke Cage. It is a, it is a, it is a card. It can be magic. I can just Sarah it up. Like at the end of the day, what am I really losing? Nothing besides my pride. And we have already thrown that shit away so many times. We ha- we just need Gambit. Quinjet. Elsa Bloodstone. Cannonball. So he got Cannonball randomly, one of the best five costs in the game. So, in, if, in terms of RNG, my opponent is quite good. Hmm, that is actually really annoying. That quadruples the Wong. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know which way do we go. What is the... I think this is the smartest play, because I just get to play all my cards out for free. I get to basically play my soul out here. I mean, I can do that also on the next turn. It's basically down to does he have Cosmo, yes or no. I don't even think it would be enough. I just want to see... Show me the fireworks, baby. The fact he got Cannonball is... So bad, though. Like, that random... Drop is probably the best one in the game here, because it just clogs my board instead. The Phoenix Wars, Kitty Pride, and finally... He got Gambit. Don't just kill Wong, okay? He killed Wong, of course he did. Huh. My mighty hand. Isn't that infuriating? Knowing that he got the only card that actually does it. Ah, uh. Like, holy fuck. Ugh. And the fact that I didn't also get Luke Cage is astounding. I guess I'm supposed to... ...do a thing. How do I do it, though? I am... I'm... I lost to that. That one interaction cost me the entire game. Him hitting a random, 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 random. It's it's basically just random this, random that. You lose to random this, random that. I 
mean, I can stay, I guess. I mean, we're playing for fun, aren't we? That's what we said. And the for fun side of me... ...thinks that this is somehow the winning line. Now, I don't know how yet. We'll find out shortly. He got Loki. Actually, do we win? Are ye worthy? Because of like Apocalypse's power. We win four cubes against Loki. Even though, oh, like, despite the best RNG possible happening for him, from Cannonball moving Wong to Gambit sniping Wong, we still found a way. We still find a way to beat even Loki. What a game. And that's what happens when we play fun decks. We, we are just beyond, like, we don't care. We were supposed to retreat, but we're gonna play for comp. I don't care. Like, I think that is what all of you actually want on this channel. Like, the competitive side is one thing, but when Romic pulls out the fucking guns blazing, that's the good shit. And OV is playing... Clog. Probably our worst matchup, because we don't get to really play. He now just gets to play goblins, and goblins, and more goblins, and fuck, I hate that deck. The fact they designed that thing is infuriating as, like, a deck design. Like, just this. Debris and goblins and all of that shit. Like, yeah, like, you know what? We were gonna retreat this because why would I just give Ovi cubes? Like, no, I'm not gonna give anyone anything. Like, we're gonna play a game where we're not completely outmatched. Like, this is the probably the best meta deck right now because it's just like, okay, you don't get to play. Which I think second dinner really shouldn't make. Like, decks that clog you and then Prof X is also there and Cannibal also there, just like. Remove that shit. Like, let people play. Not No deck should be like... People complain about Destroy. It destroys, like, one of the most fair decks in the game. You're just like, play the game. Like, I'm gonna pull out big idiots, and you have to deal with the big idiots. The same thing with, like, previous Shuri. She just put out a lot of points. A lot of people just didn't experiment with a lot of stuff back then. But now everything is like... You can't play because they delete your entire deck like District X just did to me. Holy shit, that's annoying. Ugh. But alright. Ah, and I get to give him a Red Hulk every single turn. I think we're up against Hela. Oh, great. I get to destroy my Hawkeye right before I play him. That's the thing I actually want to do. Destroy him. Like, why would I want to play him? Destroy him. Oh, Electro. Great. They drew Ramp right on cue. Even though District X happened, and that means they just opened the absolute god hand. 23 cards in there. 23 power on a 6 cost. Miss Marvel get gotten randomly. Miss Marvel. Probably one of the best cards ever made. I'm supposed to Sarah, but where? Probably here so we don't have priority. Magneto. That is a horrible idea most of the time. But now is the right time because I have no answers. I guess Shaunak might do it. Some ways, shapes, and forms. Making an entire board full of idiots. Like we do hazmat. Into Shauna. Now, I think we always lose, but is playing it out funny? I mean, he never plays into Danger Room. He just fires off his 23 power idiot mid and wins the game on the spot. Because it's like completely ridiculous that that thing is actually in the game. But who am I to question second dinner's amazing design choices as usual? Alright. So this is like the best thing we can do. Yeah, there's like the Red Hulk. 23 power! Hazmat! Now we Shauna. Wow, well, we lowered our mid output actually. If that's like the Infinite, I guess we might discard it. 
Nope. We need something better. Shauna, come on. What was on the next draw? Master Mold. Yeah. I mean, we played it out for fun, but... You can't really beat a 623. It is ridiculous that this thing is actually in the game. Let's play one more. I'm just so dumbfounded by their design decisions. Like, you know Blob is broken, and you print Red Hulk anyway. Like, and you also buff him, he was 6'10", now they made him a 6'11". It's, it's ridiculous. It's actually ridiculous what they're doing. Every single one is like, yeah, we gotta push it hard enough so it sells. Like It feels like they're pumping and dumping. Like It feels like a pump and dump scheme. And another Red Hulk open in hand. It's like Red Hulk's broken or something and anyone's playing him. And people are telling me, no, Red Hulk is actually replaceable in a lot of lists. With who? With who? Like, with who is he replaceable with? Nobody! Nobody can replace him! That's why he's broken! You get it? Like, it, it feels like an idiotic argument. If he was replaceable, then why isn't anyone replacing him? You feel me? Like, why? Like, if he's, re if he's so replaceable, why is everyone playing him anyway? Because he's irreplaceable. He's busted. <laughs> like, how do I how do I prove it to you? Like how do I tell you this? We ghost. <laughs> Great hand. No Sarah, no Wong, no Mystique. Uh-huh. So, we're doing nothing. Gotcha. Yeah, hella. Oh, just a red hulk, uh-huh. You're gonna make him even bigger then. Like, if I got Wong Gambit, I'd go for it. Fuck me, this is horrible. Well, I guess I'll see this through. It's not impossible. I'm just saying it's very much unlikely. I needed that Saron turns like 78 ago. Like, I needed to turn 85. I need not turn to 7, I need turn 85 until I just draw my entire deck. I mean... Nah. Nah, this game is impossible. Yeah, I'd rather play one more game than just stick it out in one where I absolutely bottom decked everything and the hell opponent drew everything instead. Yeah, like, there's, like, this is a game that's instantly winnable as long as we get the combos off. Like, Hela still needs to play all the stuff out. We just kill her into the sun if she can. We do the entire Wong Exodia line and they never win. But it requires actually doing it. Which is very much the task that we're having at hand. Ghost, Apocalypse, Mystique, Rickety, Bridge, damn, these are... Okay, we got Sim. Give me magic and we're A-OK. -okay. Like, we're pretty much good. I'm just, like, worried about not drawing magic. Like, magic is the way we make most of the videos actually viable. Like, not, otherwise, it's really not good. And our opponent's, like, thinking, do I snap on turn one? Because I got Corvus Glaive, Magneto, Infinite. You know, the fun stuff. Oh my god, we got magic. We got him. Now we just need Wong. The pieces are coming into place. Morbius. Okay then. I'll leave his Proxima Midnight to become an idiot who jumps into Rickety Bridge. Don't worry, she'll jump into Vormir anyway, but just saying, like, Corvus- Ah, it's just- it's just Hela, it's just- it's Hela. Hela, guys, I love Hela. Hela's my favorite, I would die for Hela. Like, Half the community every time. I, I would die for Hela. Well, I almost thought I was gonna be a Red Hulk. I'm gonna be- oh, God damn it. Like, you cannot be serious right now. Alright. Dracula. We ghost it up. No Wong. Again. It feels like a running gag at this point. Wong feels like the... Like, the running gag side character in his own deck. Just Lockjaw, Hella. Minion. 
Oh, well, there it is. Modok discards all his other shit. Enchantress Apoch. Enchantress in Hella. Moda Akela, Enchantress. Of course. What else would he be playing? Honestly, guys, you, you gotta think about it. I mean, we always win if we top deck Wong. I actually cannot lose. Now we can if it hits Sarah. Magic took the bullet. Yeah. Like, how much? Like, this shit's better anyway. He loses Rickety Bridge because of Gambit. Yeah, you're dead. Man, that felt so good. That actually felt so good. It felt so clean. It felt like everything was coming up to us. We won. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that one. That This is a deck that is absolutely like... It can scam a lot of cubes, but mostly it's fun. It's just fun. You love playing shit like this and... Like, how many times can I recommend the same types of destroy decks to you? No, this is something more interesting, something cool, something that just not a lot of people actually want to, like, play against. Because what happens? You get the Gambit or the Hazmat off, and you absolutely pop off and kill your opponent. But, boys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a quick like, comment, subscribe, make sure to follow my Twitch channel below, because we're gonna be streaming tomorrow. And then, boys, I was Romic, the leader of Snapmania. Love you all, and take care of yourselves.